is Murph AI actually good to generate voiceovers? In today's video, I'm going to do a Murph AI review. I've been using this for a while, I've got a paid plan, and I want to show you what Murph AI is like using this on a regular basis. I'm going to use it, I'm going to show you all voices, as well as compare this to other software tools that I've used to generate voiceovers so that you can get an idea where Murph AI stands in all of this stuff going on. So first of all, I want to show you the voices. Now I'm inside my studio, I've loaded in a script, which is a feature I really like, which is what you can do by importing script and you can select the actual file. Now if I already compare that to speech hello, which is something I used before, I have to enter the text. I cannot load in the script. It's a small difference, but it makes it much easier to do. So definitely a bonus point for Murph AI right there. But let's get into the voices and how you can build your voiceover. So on the left hand side, you'll see explore AI voices. On here, you can find every voice that is available. Now I like how they've built this out because for example, once again, on Speech Hello, you have this right there and that's how you select it. Murph AI looks much more professional, much easier to use as well. What I'll do first is I'll simply play a few voices for you so that you can get an idea of what these sound like. Now I want you to know that there isn't even an opportunity to choose between all of these languages and then even different accents. For example, French, France, French, Canada, English, Scottish, uh, English, US, UK, Australia, and the list goes on. So that is good to know. You can also filter on male and female. They've made it really easy to do that, which is definitely great to see. But for now, I'll play a few voices so that you can get an understanding of what these sound like. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. We all have something to share with Now as you can see, that one sounds really unique. You will not hear that very quickly on different tools. These are great for, let's say, motivational videos, quote videos, somewhere in those lines. And then we have Natalie, for example. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline. Make that one reminds me of the TikTok voice, which is pretty cool because people are used to that. So for short form content like Instagram Reels, um, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, this voice can be great, but we've got many more. One of my own favorites is Rachel right here. Voice recordings can be tough. I remember the time I was waiting for weeks just to get this project done. Really relaxed, really calm women voice sounds great. We've got Thomas, for example. It's simple. We make a delicious pizza from the best ingredients. Every so there are many different voices for anything you'd need. Now what you can do as well is click on use case and then for example, if you want to make a documentary, they will give you voices for that. If you want to make audiobooks, they will give you voices for that, advertisements. So you can filter by category, which makes it easy for you to find the best voice depending on what you want to create. Now what I'll do right now, I'll demonstrate this in the actual editor tool because sometimes what I found, and I'll be honest with you here, once again, this is an honest review, sometimes on the preview it sounds good, but then if you play it, it doesn't sound as good. For example, Taro, listen to this. It only takes one voice at the right pitch to start an avalanche. Sounds pretty cool. Listen to what it sounds like in the first preview in the actual editor. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. Now you can see that it did a small mispronunciation on the word football. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how you can fix that later on in this video by doing this right here. But sometimes the voice can sound a little bit more robotic than it does in the preview, which is something I don't like too much, but it doesn't mean you cannot generate real voiceovers. If I select racial for this video, I'm just gonna generate her audio. Now you can do that by clicking on the play icon right there. It's something that works really well, it's very easy to use. It's just that sometimes it takes a few seconds every time you make a change. Something I don't like too much, but I guess it doesn't hurt too much either, so it's not too bad. So what I'll do right now, I'll play racial for you. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? Now, as you can see, that one sounds really, really good. So can you generate real sounding voiceovers with Merv AI? Yes, you definitely can. I've heard people say it's not great, it doesn't work. Trust me, it works. You can generate great, great voiceovers with Merv AI. I'll play another sentence for you. Once again, you can have this generated right here if you click generate audio. What you can also do is add emphasis on specific parts of the sentence. Now you can see it has to render again just a little bit. 
I'm just gonna reset this and as you can see we're about to reveal all the secrets captivating city if you want captivating city to have an emphasis you select it it's gonna regenerate the audio once again and then you click play Feel all the secrets of this captivating city and you can see it creates an emphasis on these two words right there now that is how it sounds like as of right now if you want to change it you can change it at all times simply click on the icon Make sure you select apply voice to entire project and then select a new one. So they've made it also really easy to just switch between different characters in one go. Now what you can even do is use two voices in one project, which is not possible on the other tools. So I really like that for Murph AI as well. Once again, speech hello, <laughs> that's not possible. So if I click here, I tick this so that I don't select it for the entire project. And I click on, let's see who I like as well where she is, I think her name was Michelle. Yes, there we go. Michelle, you can now see that we've got Rachel on the first two blocks and then Michelle on the third one. I'll generate this for you so that you can see what it sounds like. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12,500 bicycles? Now you can see that one for this sentence already sound much more robotic than let's say Rachel. So depending on the voice and depending on what you actually say, I found, it can still sound a bit too robotic or it can sound really good. Now you can fix that by adding pauses, changing emphasis, changing the pitch, the speed, or you can simply choose the best voice. For me, Rachel is great. I've actually made a full video playing every single voiceover on Murph AI. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below so that you can get an idea of what all of them sound like or you can just simply check this out by signing up for a free account on Murph AI. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below in case you want to check that out yourself. Now that is basically how you can start building out the whole script that you have. So I loaded in my script for the import feature and as you can see my script is now here. I can then start playing everything, start testing it. So I'm going to select Rachel again scroll down, add emphasis, change the speed, change the pitch wherever I need to, and that is that. You can also change the tone, like I said as well, terrified, unfriendly, excited. For example, I'll use excited right here. Click generate audio, and there we go. Now what you can also do is play your whole voice over at once by clicking on this button right here. It's then once again gonna generate the audio, it's gonna create a preview for you, if you then click play, it's going to work out. First, I'll play this one, and then I'll show you what this looks like, as well as the timeline feature. With so many bicycles around, it's no surprise that Amsterdam is known as the bicycle capital of the world. As you can see, different tone compared to the first block that I've put here. It's the same voice. Now, right here is generating the audio. You also have a timeline. If you start playing it, you'll see the script, as well as the full voiceover done right here currently still generating the audio. Now once again, this is a great tool. It works completely fine. The voiceover sound good. Sometimes the only downside that I found could be me is that sometimes it just takes like 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there to generate the audio, which takes more time from you to get this entire thing done. So you can see right now it is still loading. I'm not sure if it's stuck. I don't think so, it's just building out the new voiceover that we created, including the tones and stuff that we changed. But I'll play this for you when it's done. And there we go. If I now play it and then I'll open the timeline, we can read along with the voiceover. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12,500 bicycles? It's called the Fietzflat, and it's the largest bike parking facility in the world. All right, so that's something we just created. Now, once again, we can change all of this. We can change the pronunciation, which is a tool they've made. If you double click, click pronunciation, you can change different ways to pronounce a specific word. That is something I really like. That is perfect because, of course, these are still text-to-speech softwares, meaning they're not actual human beings. So in order to make them sound like one, of course, they're going to make mistakes here and there, as it's not up to that standard yet to do everything perfectly. So they've created a feature where you can change the pronunciation. That is something I really, really like, and I appreciate that. Now, when it comes to Murph AI, do I like it? Yes, I do. Can you make real-sounding human voiceovers? Yes, you can. Are there a few downsides? Yes, of course, there are always a few downsides. What I don't like is that I have the pay plan. I have this plan right there, the pro plan, 
and I can only still generate four hours and nine minutes of voiceover time. Now, to be honest, I can have enough videos made within four hours of generated voiceovers, more than enough, but still they've put a limit on the amount of time I can generate voiceovers for, even though I pay $26 a month. I paid $312 upfront, but even I did this, I still have a limit. So that's something I don't like too much. Does it really hurt me? No, not really, because I don't generate over four hours per month anyway, because that's a ton of videos. However, it's still something I would like to see changed. Because then if I want more, I'd have to go with the enterprise plan and do a custom offer. For example, $59 a month per user, which is $3,540 per year. So that's definitely not gonna be it, but this one is perfect. This is the plan I have. It's just that this is capped at some point. Does it hurt me? No, not too much. Apart from that, do I like the tool? Yes, it's perfect. And where does it stand if we compare to other tools? If we compare this to Speechello, Murph AI wins by far. Speechello will rate like a five out of 10 of these days. It's not great. You only pay $47 once. So if you look at it that way, yes, it kind of makes sense. That is also why it's not up to standards. Murph AI is $26 a month if you pay upfront for the pro plan, but then you get much more quality as well. And then we have one more, which is called Wellset Labs, which I pay $89 a month for. Uh, it's this tool right here. And then it sounds like this. Trust your gut, don't overthink it, and allow yourself a little room to play. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly- Life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it. So you can see this one might be the best one I've used so far. I'll leave a link for this in the description down below as well to review videos, comparison videos. I'm testing and making everything right now. Now, Wellset Labs is a little bit better than Murph AI. It's just that it's double the price as well. You can get with this plan $44 a month, but then you've got too many uh, limitations. You can only have five projects, blah, blah, blah. So this is not a good one. So you kind of need this plan right here. So Murph AI, is it worth the price? Yes, I believe so. You get what you deserve in terms of pricing. It does work and it works very well actually. All you need to do now is click export, click high quality, and then you can simply download your voiceover. It's now gonna export your file, so it's gonna turn this script into an actual voiceover. Click download and then you're done. Now what is good as well on Murph AI is that they're constantly adding and changing the current voiceovers on here. Something that I don't like with Speech Hello is that you pay once and for me it just feels like a cash grab. I just made a ton of money with them and they don't really update anything here. Whereas Murph AI is an actual company, I would say, that constantly keeps upgrading, testing, improving their software because they also know the competition is getting better. So they need to step up their game as well. So that is something I like as well. Now that is basically it. I'll leave links to all resources mentioned in the description down below, such as free trial links if you like it, as well as comparison videos and full platform tutorials so that you can learn more about Murph AI. But does it work? Do I like it? Yes, I do. I've been paying for a while and I do like the software. With that being said, let me know if you have any questions about this. Leave a like on the video and then I'll see you next time.